with their combo. Like I'm, I, I, I could like picture it in my head, but I just I want to see it executed. Yeah, well, they've got they've got really good late game. I think that late game snakes definitely got the advantage here um, with Vladimir, Oriana, Tristana. Um, but I don't again, know that Matt, I necessarily agree with that. Just because they don't really have a tank like that, Nocturne is not going to build Cinder Hulk unless he does. In which case, I'll just stop talking forever. <laughs> uh, it's going to be known for that too, though. You're right. That Vlad might might go tank though, because I've seen people who play Vlad and they just they build um, like Hex Tech Revolver into their as their first item, and then just go like full tank from there. All you know, stuff that just gives them back health because Vlad gets ability power from his health mm -hmm. in addition health to health ability his power. power right so I, I could definitely see people you know or vlad building tank just like going into uh will of the ancients you know and then something like um Zonya's, and then just all tank stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that's still a fair bit of damage that he's built less tankiness and since there's so much damage on the side of rat could be dangerous. Only one way to find out. Yep. 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 But I'm curious to see how Rat's team comp works out here, because that's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's a really, very, very, very good team fighting composition that they've got there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Every every champion in their own respect is a game changer for when it comes to mid game team fights, and now you put them all together on one team. Oh, I hope that in mid game they start doing a lot more fighting, a lot more TP play. So. Very difficult execution, though. Yep, yep, that's that's for sure. That's so the communication sure. is going to have to be on point this mm -hmm. game for both teams, honestly, with um, the Oriana ult. You could even put it on the Thresh, and the Thresh could take a hook, and yeah, maybe, maybe anybody could be an Oriana ball delivery system. Mm -hmm. I hope that... Can they do it without getting blown up? That's the question. <laughs> that's what we're going. I, I don't, like... One thing we can't discount either is whoever the ball person is, it's not going to be the the Oriana alt. It's going to be like the follow up to that. It's going to mm -hmm. be the Vlad alt on top of that, which mm -hmm. is just going to increase the amount of damage. Yeah, but if you can get an Ori if you can get an Oriana alt on one or two of the Rumble Silver Nivea, that's huge. Mm -hmm. That's a big chunk of damage. That's three carries that are out of position, up to three carries that are out of position. Oh, yeah. And, you know, Sejuani, if she uses her abilities to engage, she doesn't really have much peel. Brahm's peel is limited um, to a couple slows and some stuns when you can get them off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, we've poofed onto the rift. Poof. Champions Ow. have bought That's their nice. items. They're making Fresh. their way out to the river. Let's see some fun stuff going down. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think it's going to be fun to watch too. I think it's more of a um, rat is saying, hey, let's team fight 5v5, and Snake is going to say, no, I'm going to try to pick one of your guys off before we fight. They're going to try to look to maybe pick a Rumble or pick a Nivea, um, get them out of the fight before the fight happens, and really stop one of those game changing alts. That's going to be what Snake's looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of ice on. Um yeah. Right? Like, they've got Anivia, Braum, and Sejuani. Are they uh -huh. role-playing? Why didn't they pick Ash? Where's the Ash? Come on. Yeah. Ash in the Trindomir top lane? Come on. Yeah. Freljord. Yeah. <laughs> or Lissandra. Yeah, Lissandra. Yeah, that's not bad. Lissandra. But Anivia's not bad either. Yeah, Anivia's I mean, good. yeah, especially when you play 300-odd games. <laughs> they, they changed Lissandra a little bit now. Oh, did they? Yeah, she yeah. has the she has the heel on when she self casts her ult. She gets a heal there. Okay. But she's not in this game, so it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. She is much better now, though. So if you're interested in solo queue, <laughs> I think I'm gonna so. play her. Okay, Bezler's oh, taking their camps. Everyone getting started. Standard starts down by the bottom lane. Yeah. Flat starting. We too. haven't. <laughs> we haven't seen. Today, really, at all, I don't think, is uh, bottom lane taking camps. Yeah, I don't think we ever. haven't seen anybody rush for that early game advantage. We also haven't seen uh, Vladimir in top lane or Rumble in the top lane. It's fun to see them both against each other. So yeah, yeah I, I expect from um, Snake's side.
side that they're gonna maybe rush an Aegis on either Thresh or maybe Nocturne because there's just so much AP on the side of the Rat Army. There's actually a fair amount of ability power on both sides. Yeah. When you look yeah. at it, like, Braum is all magic. Rumble and Vlad are both all magic. And then Anivia and Orianna are almost entirely magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Aegis is going to be a uh, more important item in this game for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd be interested to see a Banner of Command maybe come out for the on the Thresh. Uh, just because of all the magic damage on Rat. You can't clear that. Your only way to clear that is the Sivir. And that's short yeah. range, maybe get a pick off of it. I, honestly, I just I really think, like Banner of Command as an item, I'll be honest. I think we would see Aegis on both sides, to be honest with you, because if people get caught in the Rumble ult, it's a tough time to get out of that, and they're going to want that extra shield for the Vlad ult. Mm. So I, I probably see Aegis come out on, on or, uh, sorry, Lock of the Iron Solari on both sides. Yeah, for sure. Likely on the Sejuani. Yeah, or Braum. Want, want to get it. I imagine on the Sejuani, you want to get it as soon as possible. Rom's income lacking due to yeah. his being a support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Nocturne coming back after his first back, he's gonna pick up a Ranger's Trailblazer. It's good jungle clear speed. Uh, I don't expect Nocturne to gank uh, until level 6. He's just gonna farm up. Um, separate from Blight, Tank's normal aggressive early game style that I've been seeing him play this entire tournament, but. He's honestly, he has played that early aggressive style. Uh, on Nocturne. He played it on Zin. Yeah, he played oh, it on Zin because... Top lane. Here we go, Rumble. Overheating, one more auto attack. He's gonna flash oh, away. Vladimir's wow. going to But Sejuani, he's got him cornered. Flash in by Vladimir. And that is a nice disengage on Vladimir's part. Both flashes low on top lane. I'd like to see a Q flash from the Sejuani. Oh, coming down for the repeat gank, and here comes Flying Tank. Q's and leaves. Everyone backs off. Yep, everyone backs Shit, off. You too, uh, watch out. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I, I agree, Crave. I, I would have loved to see a flash uh, Q there by Sejuani to take down the Vladimir and get first blood. Yeah, that would have been a huge swing in the favor of a weak early game jungle, jungler in Sejuani and a very inexpensive item power spiking champion like Rumble. Yep. You know, Rumble only really needs about 26,000 or 2,600 gold rather to really just become as effective as you need to be, just with all those spell penetration items in the hunting guys. And sorcerer, sorcerer, sword pen boots. Sword yeah, pen. and look at this flying tank doing what he does best. He sees that Chromax Jack was defending top lane for his rumble, and then he just walks into his jungle, takes the grab. You see Chromax Jack walking by it. There's no grab. All right, I'm gonna go get wolves. Too bad, flying tank took your wolves too, buddy. Great play by playing, uh, playing tank, that's for sure. That's that sort of early game version that you can pull off on Nocturne even if you're just Oh, top lane it. though. That looks top like a dead flash. Oops, putting some good damage onto Vladimir. Oh, no, so the Vladimir misses the harpoon. Takes two tower shots in the meantime, too. Good what a dodge. Man. What a dodge. That was... Oh, God. And Vlad has inherently good sustain just with his Q. Yep. If, he, if he had flash, that could be... Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because he doesn't have flash, so yeah. there's... There was a little bit of fighting happening in the bot lane queue. If you look at Thresh, it's at about 25% health. There was a nice all-in from Suzanne and I Donut. That Braum is really paying off. Good scrimmaging uh, support. Mm -hmm. Very good in these little 2v2s, 3v3s. Can get stuns off on... Can realistically, over the course of this short fight, get stuns off on two, three people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. CS, um, Suzanne is ahead by about 13 CS over Poromi Senpai. Early game, mid game, Sivir doing what she does best against the late game Tristana. Good spell shield on the hook there. <laughs> yeah, Anivia mid lane's good on CS. Uh, Rumble's 10 CS behind Vladimir there. <laughs> And uh, Vladimir going big on his first buy with an endlessly <laughs> large rod. Oh. Yeah. He doesn't care about sustain. Who needs sustain when you got damage? Yeah, no kidding. Feels okay. Chromax Jack coming in for a lane gank. I think that caster minion saw him. Yeah, they probably saw him. It seems like 
for me, sent by Sergeant Tack, uh, Coker, just being a little bit more passive than normal. Go back and check. See if they did actually see him. I don't know, just abusing the fact that they still think that he might be there. Mm -hmm. So, really just trying to push out. Oh, here we go. Sianna making a nice rotation on Mod. Uh, Jim, Jukester has no, no clue that this happened. No pings have been going down. And there might be a nice solid. Oh, nice good hook. Um, here we go, Oriana coming in. Rocket jump in by Tristana. TP in by Rumble. This might be a nice little turnaround. Does he have his ultimate up? Yes, he does. Equalizer, not too bad, slows him, but here comes a teleport in by Vladimir, uh, and he cancels it. Nice cancel, I think. And here comes Jukester, Rumbles, not giving up, landing those heartbeats, slowing, nice land here by Thresh, nice hook in, and gets that play in on Braum. Oriana will go down, but Jukester will return the favor and take down Tristana, now they're looking at Dragon. Vlad's gonna have his TP on, on a shorter cooldown now, because he cancelled it, and if he was smart, he would push the lane out real quick, and then... Back with some goodies. But uh, he's gonna need to try and take something while they're taking the dragon. Looks like he's trying his damnedest to clear this wave, but Vlad is not a fast pusher in no means, especially when he doesn't really have much damage for him. Oh, alt in by Noctis. Ronnie says Ronnie ults right before he dies. Rumbles putting damage onto the Nocturne. Lantern coming in for Ayana pulls him out, and that's a one for one, but Dragon goes to Rat Army. Interesting, well, interesting play. And again, going on the warriors enchant on this nocturne. Interesting. Again, don't agree with it, but you know what? You do you. I'll do me. Um, weird play. I feel like that was a bit greedy. Not really worth it to go in just to get a kill. Uh, almost, <coughs> excuse me. Almost baited his team in to get kills. Also, if he had gotten dragon, would have been pretty slick. I think that might have been the goal there to like paranoia in and then steal it, but mm -hmm. yeah. it may have messed up the timing. He tried, and that's what matters. Yeah. Vlad definitely getting his push on up in the top lane. Now, it doesn't have too many points in Ties of Blood yet because that's really what gets the lanes going is when you can mass clear a wave. But he's gonna have to back off and get it on the next turnaround. Getting that Q to max rank is very helpful for the CDR on it and be sustained, especially yeah. considering he doesn't, he's not buying Will of the Ancients, he didn't go for that revolver, went straight for the new Zulu I draw We've got a pause. Game pause. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's worth noting too though, um, Vladimir cancelling his teleport there in the bot lane, uh, I, he did get a noticeable amount of damage on the top lane turret, but I kind of think he should have followed through with that TP, he could have changed that team fight a little bit more, and even contested Dragon when he got down there, because uh, Red Army just had the man advantage, and, you know, got a couple kills from him, and then took Dragon, because Vladimir didn't go through with the teleport. A summoner has disconnected. A summoner has disconnected. Looks like summoner all the summoners have disconnected. disconnected. Oh. Yeah, it looks like, um... Looks like some people just restarting their clients. Yeah, Snake. Looks like the entirety of Snake actually just quit the game. And the rest of them also just... Okay, they're back. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard the announcer say so a Summoner has reconnected so many times in a row. And you know what? I never thought it would be that obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let's take note here, uh, we have a noticeable CS advantage, about 25 CS in the top lane for Vladimir over the Rumble. Yeah. Um, and then we have a 30 CS advantage in the bot lane for Suzanne over Poromi Senpai. I was just about to say. Mm -hmm. and that. Plus a kill. Plus a kill, and also Flying Tank, um, 12 CS over uh, Chromax Jack, the jungle. Because that pause was about pain, people disconnecting. Seems as though we're fine now. He's back in business. Yeah, so I see. I want to know which lane junglers are going to focus uh, their attention on. Um, and here's Rumble going onto Vladimir. He's going to pull away. I don't think he's got any more slow, but he's got the equalizer, and that place oh. does so much damage. He's going to take out Vladimir one on one. Solo kill from Kazkami onto 
that Vladimir, Vladimir very weak in the early game, and again, that's that's one of the issues without when you don't build your penetration. Or, sorry, not your penetration, your spell vamp. That's what you yep. need on the Vladimir. Yeah, spell vamp, very, very important on Vladimir. You know, I don't Especially disagree with the the rod, or the uh, needlessly large rod, but... Oh, here we go, fighting the bot lane. Oh, nope, everyone's just back. Oh, good hook. Good hook on the Chromash The 3v4 coming up. Nice ult by uh, Simmer to come in. They're gonna focus on Nocturne going away. Oriana comes in. Nice ult onto just Oriana. She ult gets two people. Brom's gonna miss his Q, but land that ult. And Oriana's locked up, but I don't know if they have the damage to actually kill him. So Shwani's running away, but on the other side, Vladimir and Tristan are really taking down Jukestar and his Oriana. They put him on his passive form, and they're gonna probably take him down. There he goes. The, the Vlad and You're So Cute on the Oriana actually got out. Yeah. Almost cuts his money too. Out fine. That was very well played by Oriana and a pretty mixed focus from uh, Rat just in general there. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think they got a little too hungry for one, one player and not too hungry for another. Getting a little hypey on this game. Yeah, and it's unfortunate the Anivia death uh, didn't go to Tristana, and you want it to go to Tristana. Uh, but it did go to the Vlad. That's a hyperscaling Vlad. Vlad scales yep. very well, and Tristana doesn't. She st can still does what she needs to do uh, without a ton of gold. Like you know, the more gold, the better. Obviously, on the the more gold, the better. Um, so it would have, that kill would have done nice to close that gold gap between the Tristan and the Sivir just a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Currently sitting at approximately 800 gold lead on the Sivir alone. And then the pickaxe says it all, really. Yeah. Yeah? For, for more or less. Oh, flag gonna get caught out here. Nice little word in the bush is gonna walk away. Felt like committing there. The Sejuani has spent a lot of time sitting and waiting in bushes. Doesn't even have Cinderhall yet at 13 minutes into the game. Mm -hmm. um, a very slow. Usually, like, you like to farm a lot in the early game mm -hmm. on Sejuani. As we get another pause, looks like someone else has disconnected. Oriana. Yes, yeah, Sejuani. Oriana. You really. Sejuani is that kind of champion that people have been playing. All different kinds of ways. Like they'll they'll sometimes engage with their alt and then go in right after that, or they'll engage with the Q and then use the save the alt for when they need it. Mm. You no, know, I will dominate. Plays it like that where he'll save the alt for, you know, halfway through the fight. Yeah, I remember. That seems to be one of the most effective ways to play her right now. I specifically remember. I think it was back in the spring split. Uh, Cloud Nine Medios with the probably it might even have been in the playoffs. One of the best Sejuani ultimates I've ever seen, if not the best. He flash queued into flash queued into a five man and got a five man ulti off and just cleaned up the fight. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Sejuani has a lot of uh, team fight control if you can play it properly. Oh, we hear it flying tanks snuck into the bush while we were paused. Jumping onto Sivir there, nice damage off flash hook by Thresh bringing it black. Braum will ult in, jump back to Sivir. Wow. Great disengage from Rad Army's bottom lane there. Yeah, very well done. Did Braum jump to the tower? I, I don't know. Can Braum jump to the tower? I didn't. I didn't know if you could do that or not. But I, I, it looked like he did. Look like yeah, he did. it looked like he did. That's interesting. I didn't know. I don't know how that interaction works. I'll have to try it out in my next, my next Braum game. That was interesting. Very well played by the bottom lane yeah. of Rad Army. Uh, getting that disengage. Very clean. Only really had to blow... Well, they blew a fair bit. They blew two flashes and two ultimates. Yeah. Or just the ultimate of... Well, no, two flashes and the ultimate of... Uh, Snake. So, a pretty even trade in the moment. Mm -hmm. Here we go, mid lane Ariana looking at Jukester in the Nivea. Just gonna put some nice damage. That Q, uh, that QW actually does quite a bit of damage. But Sesh Watson's cut out that fear from Nocturne might fear him up, but no, he gets out just fine with the help of Jukester. 
But that's still some good damage onto Sijuani, who's already far behind. She doesn't want to be not farming the jungle at this point. Yeah. I feel like we've seen just, some really, um, really I just rewound the tape, by the way, on that. He didn't get, he didn't jump to the tower, he got pushed back from the buster shot to the tower. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It looked like he jumped to the top of the pump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Good. Yep. It looks like bot lane here, Sivirin. Very, very good. About 40 CS up on Horomi Senpai. And uh, pushing that tower, so this is going to be a nice little mid-game power spike here for uh, Sivir. It's going to be very, very good in the mid-game, doing a lot of damage, and Tristana's going to have an even worse of a mid-game than she normally does. Yeah, one thing it's worth saying, though, is that uh, Tristana has lowered that CS gap by a bit. Um, it's been very consistent that she's been behind uh, in CS over the course of this game. Uh, but now all down to 30. Oh, that ult on Tabram from Oriana. Who are they going to go for? They're looking for... Nice, actually. Land to play fresh. You're so cute with a good sidestep there. Uh-huh. While that was happening, though, Vlad pushed it down the top lane even more. Yeah, going to get some damage down on this top lane inner tower. It gets the TP up from Rumble. That's a bigger deal than it seems. Because Vlad is TP up in... 20 seconds of play. Yeah. Good play there by Vlad. Uh, and I don't know that I agree with that TP from Rumble. Uh, Vlad is not a hard tower pusher, uh, nor is Rumble. Uh, but he, that tower wasn't uh, wasn't going to go down anytime soon. And then he just left mid lane to be rotated upon by this Tristana and the Oriana taking this tower. And not only that, but in bot lane, Snake Armies with the Nocturne and the Thresh rotating down to get that bot lane tower. Those are great rotations by Snake Armies. Yeah. Uh, so far, just out rotating, out decision making. Yeah, very. They've really made up for that early game slumps that they were having with the dragon with the fights. That's just three towers for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But that does mean more stand. There's more gold on the map for um, Rat to take, though. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, yeah, for Rat to take. Yeah. Plus, they have two dragons too already. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you remember the first time these guys played earlier in the day. Uh, Rat had a huge problem closing the game up. Had a huge problem getting in just to the uh, inner turrets, let alone the inhibitor towers. So uh, that, that was against the Nibia. Yeah, that yeah, was, that was against the Anivia. That was against that uh, counter siege mm -hmm. of the Anivia too. Tristana, see, I don't. Oh, now Thresh is there. Never mind. I was gonna say I don't. I don't really like when AD carry steps so close to the tower like that. If it even is just the AD carry and support duo that's pressuring the tower, you never know where the jungler is, right? Like if the jungler's standing in the bush and you walk up to the tower, there's nothing that's stopping Sizwani from flash Q ulting you and they dive you and you die. You know what I mean? Then they get the tower. Like it's just a very risky play and there's not much reward to be had than just standing back and waiting for Thresh to come to the lane first. Absolutely. Um, she did have her heal, Buster Shot, and Rocket Jump, but there's a channel time on her uh, Buster Shot and Rocket Jump, and the heal isn't going to get you very far. So, uh, ill-advised move on Tristana. Luckily, doesn't have to pay for it just yet. Here we go. Just, just stops the heal from being used in other place. Nice ult on the Anivia. Fear on the Anivia. The fear goes through, ulting in by two of them. Anivia might go down passive as proc 3 man off by the Sejuani though. They're going to try to get as much damage onto that Sejuani as possible, but that's not going to have enough damage to actually take it out. But there's a stun onto Tristana. Here comes headbutt in by Sejuani. He's going to miss. Fear in, ulting in by, Se by Sivir. Ult by Braum. That will take down Tristana. Teleporting in by Vlad, and that is cancelled. And they're going to keep going on the chase. Exhaust onto Nocturne. Flash over the wall. He's going to get all fine. And that's a nice disengage. But a hook in by Thresh and get a nice tower shot onto Braum. Nice little love tap, but good fight for Rat Army. That's a one for nothing, and Tristana too. Mm -hmm. That's a they lot did of get blown. A lot of flashes blown. They did. Uh, Rumble managed to roam down, flash ultied to barely pick off mm -hmm. one uh, member of Snake. So if if Rumble had just kept his ants in his pants just a little bit longer. <laughs> and held on to that equalizer, that could have easily been a 3, maybe even 4 for 0. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, Vladimir shoving in that top lane. Very, very good wave control. Again, uh, Snake Army. Uh, actually having some very, very good wave control this game. That's been their problem this tournament, and I think they've been turning it around. They've got their both bot, uh, mid, and top lanes pushing into the turret, and they're able to roam around, look at Baron, because those waves are so far pushed up. Very, very good wave control on Snake Army's part. Looks like a Baron call now. Here we go. I'm seeing some looting on the general area. They don't know. They're not they going to get no it. no vision anywhere here. This is a blue Baron. Baron for Snake Army. And they've been doing that this entire tournament they too. They have. Yeah, they see some people. They see the, the duel in bot lane. They go Baron. They just they do Baron immediately. Yeah, Very exactly. good plays. Another 20 minute Baron for uh, Snake. Yeah. Making their best Fnatic impression. <laughs> And a good impression at that, too. Yes. And this is Rat Army. Uh, it's very unfortunate, because look at their vision control at Dragon. Very, very good vision control, but not a single ward on Baron. They will never give up a Dragon. Ever. <laughs> oh, no, they won't. But that... Two Dragons does not compare to a Baron. No, it does not. Ever. And oh. look at how much trouble, just if you look in the top one, just look at how much trouble Rumble is having in clearing these minions. Mm-hmm. Oh, 20 minutes? I don't think he has enough damage to clear that minions. Well, at least efficiently. No, not yet. Sure. Once he gets the full, like, Leandries, he'll have more than enough, but... Yeah, it looks like he's going uh, Zonyas before he's going there. The first Aegis of the Legion has been purchased. Ah! It's on Thresh. Yes. Of Team Snake. Yes. Good. Great purchase. Great yep. pickup. They're gonna need it. Yeah, yep. they are gonna need it. But Braum the rushing the face of the mountain, mm. it looks like... I think he's just a little bit more of the proc from the Targon's Brace. It's never a bad idea. Yeah, but there's just better items. There are better items, but you know what? It'll do. Yep. Uh, so Shawnee might be building up a locket with that <laughs> Bracer. It'll be good for a few things. Could also be a Righteous Glory. Yep. Could be. I don't think it will be, but it could be. Uh, I mean, some engage against this team isn't bad. The Oriana and the Vlad, very low mobility. Uh, some extra engage on that Sojani, not a bad, not necessarily a bad thing. Never a bad thing, no. Sojani needs to actually get that going, though, because she's 40 farm behind Nocturne mm -hmm. right now. That's one of the things. Sejuani is one of those champions where you farm until you're 6, and then you gank, and then you keep farming. Uh, whereas Chromax Jax, he's, his play this entire tournament has been a little... Leave, it's been leaving something to be desired. His spotty. Garner was... Maybe spotty. I wouldn't even call it spotty. It's, it's sort of... It's not that he's had some good game. Maybe he has. I haven't actually... I, I, but I don't remember a game where I was thinking, man, Chromax Jax is playing really well. Yeah. Yeah. Even in the games that they won. Even... I just, even in the game they just had against Rabbit. Like, he played fine, but he was by no means a stand -up. No. See, that's some good rotation play by Snake Army. They were pushing uh, mid by Vladimir and bot on the other team, and they're they're gonna probably get mid tower too, but Nocturne alts in on Sejuani, get him off that tower, and they're gonna take tower in return. Uh, Nocturne off full tower, that's definitely worth it. That is two full towers, or two, sorry, two inner towers for Rat, for one outer mm -hmm. for Snake. No, I sorry, two full, two inners for Snake, one outer for Rat. Because here they Rumble go. did take the top lane tower on the outer. They're gonna look for a pick now. Snake, Snake does this a lot. They like to sit in the bush, all five of them, and wait for someone to face check the bush. And They've we'll been doing they it all up. tournament. They, they but it works. Them. It, it works. works. Yeah. It works. It always works. I think that it's hard to do the, the hide in the bush and wait for someone to face check now because there's nothing really to fight over. Uh, Snake Army's been doing a very, very good job of that around Baron, around Dragon. They would they would hide in the bush, wait for one person to come and kill that one person who unfortunately face checked them, and then follow up by taking an objective. But the thing is, is there's now not many objectives for them to take 
in the middle of the map. So they have to get some deep vision into Rat Army's jungle, and then just do that, hide in bushes, rinse and repeat, and hopefully get as many towers as they can. But while they're doing that, they have to be careful not to get caught out, because there is a lot of catch potential with the knocker here, with the hook from Thresh. Um, even with an Orianna EQW, just like that slow enough is enough to get them caught out. Mm -hmm. and they have to be really careful not to give up too much more, because sure they're ahead in kills, but they're still four and a half thousand gold behind. Yep, yep. And the Sivir, uh, almost 200 CS over this Tristana, but it seems that just Snake armies, just their rotational play there and their objective control, it's outclassing the CS advantages that the players have been able to make. Mm -hmm. There's individual advantages in certain places of the game, but there's a, uh, what is that, 50 CS lead uh, from Vlad over the Rumble. Rumble's ultimates honestly have not been very impactful. He used no. one to get a pick off on someone who's going to die anyway. Mm -hmm. um, looks like Sichuani is actually building that Righteous Glory a little bit extra extra engaged, so I do like that. I still think she should spend more time farming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, right here. We right. got three in a bush. Three yeah. in a bush, doing the best Rumble. thing. Be. Brom sandwich, maybe. Uh, Rumble's caught a little bit alone there. I can see Rumble there facing is. you. Can all ten on the Rumble. That damage, though, the fear will not connect because of the Zarnia, but that Rumble will go down. Rumble goes down. Brom all takes the chill to try to get away, but that fear from Nocturne, you're not getting away from that unless you flash over the wall. Great, great play by Brom, but still, one for zero. Yeah, no rumble now either. If they need that uh, rumble ult, because it d does so well in the jungle when you fight. Mm -hmm. I, really, I really like the patience that Snake put out on that play. Sitting yep. in the bush, waiting for rumble to get low, probably hoping for him to come back to lane. No, you know, if they're not going to come back to lane, let's just go for it. Huge chunk of damage coming out immediately from that nocturne. And Red Army is still just staying there. They Better be careful, because this won't end well if it turns into a 4v4, especially with uh, Braum being so low. And Vlad pushing down the lane. Yeah, and then Vladimir been this weird split push Vlad Vladimir all game, which for some reason has worked. Well, it's not used for split pushing, that's a thing, yeah. Yeah, it's not out of the ordinary, because the teleport, you come in, you, you TP, you ult everybody, and then you just lay down the damage. It's not mm -hmm. too out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. He's just a, such a slow tower pusher. But a fast wave clear. He's, yep. Yeah, once he's he gets a little bit of AP and some ranks in his W, or yep. E, he'll well, those he's, waves. He's at that point now where he can wave clear pretty quick. He's got Zonius, he built Woda, you know, he's working on a Spirit Passage. Mm -hmm. He's at that point where he's, he can wave clear pretty quick. There's mm -hmm. nothing really to split push for, though, at this point. It's good I to mean, have wave can, uh, Yeah, it's good to get the lanes going. But as you can see, uh, Rat Army definitely made up for their mistake last time. They've got some good vision around Baron now. Baron is up. Uh, Dragon's going to be up in 10 seconds. Um, but I'd imagine that... See, Rat Army's going to fall in. I'd imagine that if uh, Snake Army sees them go for Dragon, they're not going to hesitate to take Baron. Mm -hmm. The priority that Snake has been putting on Baron... Rat has been putting on Baron, excuse me. That Rat has been putting on Baron for pretty much the whole tournament has been... Like, they've had very good dragon control, yeah. But that's... Some of the supports go and ward the same spots <laughs> at the same time. But they've got good vision control. Red army around Baron now. They've got some good wards in the river and in their jungle to watch out for those lane, uh, those bush ganks that they've been having from Snake Army. So, uh, good vision control, but now they're fighting... Here we go. Five-man fight. Hook misses, wall goes up. Um, they're just staring each other down in the face, but it looks like Red Army flush in oh, the Oh, Oreo on the flash. Oreo Four men on off Sejuani, but no one's there to follow up. Looks like they're gonna take the Dragon Snake Army and Red Army is going to back off from it. Hook's gonna miss, and there's just gonna be dissing it. That was a great ult by Sejuani, but there's just no one to follow up on it. Great ult by Sejuani for the disengage. That, the rumble ult would have been spectacular, but mm -hmm. that Oriana play was a bit interesting. A uh, flashing in, looking for the shockwave. Shockwave's on her cell. <laughs> Very lucky that she didn't get punished for that. No. Yeah, well, she... more than the ridicule she's going to be getting from her teammates. Yeah. <laughs> Only if they lose. If they win, it's okay. Yeah, they, yeah if they win, it's all good. Self-ball delivery system. That's uh, gonna be the new meta. 
Well, it would have been fine if she hit anybody with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, now I'll tell you one thing, though. Might have been going for a baby. On the defensive now, if they weren't already, because they don't have that says Wani ult mm -hmm. that they need. Everyone else is ulted up, except for... I don't know, Sivers is down, boys. They have, they have the Braum... The blue carpet onto the red carpet, onto another blue carpet. <laughs> the Braum, Rumble, and Namibia. Big chunk coming up. Yeah, because you distort? That's some good, good damage. And that's even some magic resist, the null uh, magic mantle for Braum. A little bit of magic resist, yeah. Uh, it looks like he's going for the old Aegis of the Legion. Finally. Yeah, finally. Oh, oh perfect! Perfect ball delivery system, and that's three people, that's Braum going down. Sejuani will follow suit, and now that's going to be the reset from Tristana coming in. Fear onto Nivia, she's not going to get out, the passive will be proc, but she's going to go down. I'd imagine that Tristana, nice hook by Thresh, the jump in, that's going to be a slow. Three man ult by Rumble, which is not a big ult, and that's going to take down Tristana, but Rumble will go down too. And Vladimir is also uh, split pushing in the top lane too, great fight by Snake Army. That was a huge, that was very well played, that was an excellent initiation by Snake, but a huge misplay on Tristana, not getting off of that Rumble ult. If she were still alive, then that's easily two inhibitors, maybe even better. Now, I think, impressive. Probably, probably one tower and half an inhibitor. Uh, I think it's one tower. But look, they're gonna go for the fight. Uh, they all just pop by Sivir, Lantern throw by Thresh, but no one's gonna take it. Vladimir is just running as quick as he can, I don't think they can catch up. Is there gonna be an alt? Alt is missed by the flash, but it does slow Vladimir. Flash in by Sivir to Q, but I don't think they're gonna get it. Nope. They're not getting anything off of that. That was bad flash. Lucky, um, for Rat that they, uh, managed to get anything off of that. Didn't lose two inhibitors off of that. Should've. Uh, but Tristana died, and now they're trying to make a play on Baron, but Baron's warded. Yeah, and they, they are getting low. This. They're getting low, too. But they might be able to do it. Well, it's not Baron. There's the Oriana Can Cannot take that out base. of Baron pit. Watch for that Oriana Ball. Ooh, doesn't get it. This is no the They're gonna put some good damage on uh, Rumble, though, and not actually kill him. Chromax Jax didn't actually smite. Yeah. His smite is off cooldown, and oh, he didn't really? use it. They are lucky that Anivia got the bearing, but that was way too close. Way too close. They had a lot of faith in uh, Anivia. Yeah, apparently. You're so cute, almost stole that. Could you imagine if that had happened? My oh God. my goodness, that game, the game would be... That'd be the game. It would have been over, yeah, that would have been it. That would have been <laughs> such a huge turning point. Yeah. Good on uh, Jukester to uh, take that bearing. Yeah, but yeah, a good call on rat side, honestly. <clears throat> Noticed that Nocturne was low, had to go back. Guys, let's rush Baron. Uh, almost backfired, but didn't. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a solid, solid call. Mm -hmm. Now, I wonder what. I, I feel like this Baron for Rat Army is not so much a. Alright, we got Baron, guys, let's siege towers, as much as it is, alright, we got Baron, let's just try to keep this stall out game while we have Baron buff. Yeah, they weren't really trying to get Baron for themselves, they were trying to make sure the other team didn't get Baron. Yes, exactly. And the thing is, even with Baron, they're still down 6k gold. Like, that just goes to show you how far ahead Snake Army was. Yeah, this Rumble has been very low impact. Got a good solo kill in lane once, uh, but has fallen behind 100 CS. His equalizers have been okay. They've gotten a couple kills. The one on Trishana in that last fight was very good, actually. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. well placed. He needs uh, to be yeah. putting them down earlier, though. Yep. Like, yeah. Alton right by one Zipper. Different. They might try to catch Thresh, and they catch him. That's a good amount of damage. Alton by Thresh. That's not going to do very much. Well, teleporting by Vladimir, but he teleports into four people. Alton by Doctor. This is a nice re engage. I'll take part. Three, two men off by nice, nice. There's a good ult. They're perfect in the corridor, and they're going to take down some people there. There goes down Vlad, and that's what happens when you fight in corridors against a rubble, but the fight isn't actually over yet. Oriana, Tristana, and Nocturne are looking to get that Braum out. That's just a two for two, and Rad is without the middle. Okay, that was the best rumble ult so far. Yeah. We're gonna keep Very, track yeah. right now, so far. Good rumble ult. Best rumble ult, 34 minutes, 21 seconds. <laughs> Yeah, but that was a very questionable teleport, too, by uh, Vladimir into four people. Yeah, uh, 
but ultimately ended up working out, sort of. Sure. Uh, managed to make it an even fight, an even two for two, instead of a likely one for nothing. So, I mean, yeah, you lost someone else, but you also got a couple kills. Is it a net gain? Who knows? Who it's knows? about, it's where it was before. It's neither here nor there. But Rat Army is built for fighting in the jungle. They've got Rumble, mm -hmm. who's all about the tight corners. And Nivea, who can place her ult anywhere, it doesn't matter where the uh, the ult can go. Plus, she can she has a wall to block other people off. Like, this team is built for fighting in the jungle, but they need to have vision control. Yeah. If they don't have it, they're not going to win these fights. Mm -hmm. Looks like both teams now looking at Dragon. This is going to be the third Dragon for whichever team gets it, but I don't think it's as much the Dragon they're looking for as much as if they just want to fight. And they caught out Oriana. This is really, really bad. This is for the Dragon. What she doing in the Dragon Pit, though? Righteous Glory popped off by Sivir, popped too. They're going to flash in. They're going to get knocked or knocked and missed that flash, but he's going to grab the lantern. They're still pushing great. Really good rounds, great Follow up by Braum is perfect, and they're going to take down Thresh. Nocturne's real low. He's got to get away. Great did end up her flash ult at the end of that, but that was such a good rumble equalizer. That's, that's the best rumble ult now. Yeah, great, great rumble ult. Of course, the game, they're getting better and better. I don't know, that huge positional mistake on behalf of Oriana. I gave up yes. 500 shutdowns to the Anivia, which scales ridiculously late game anyway. You don't want to get her there faster. Uh-huh. Gave up a tower, probably Dragon. Uh, and that this gold lead is just shrinking. It's shrinking. Yeah, that was a big, big mistake from Oriana. If Rat starts to take a hold of this game, uh, that's going to be where the uh, where the game started falling apart for Snake. Yeah, this, this reminds me of the earlier game. The game between Snake and Rat earlier today, where Snake just got a nice advantage, but couldn't finish it. Mm -hmm. They just couldn't figure out how to finish it, and they just had to get... They ended up getting a good catch, and ended up finishing the game anyway, but that looks like that's what they're gonna have to rely on again. Yeah. Uh, it was if I'm if my memory serves correct, it was Suzanne that was caught out of position. Oh, they just caught Anivia. They caught Anivia out of position, but the wall's gonna stop that hook. Just missed. And that's a pretty big cooldown on that paranoia. That's about what a minute and a half. Well, it's just under a minute. Not a huge deal. Uh, but pick with it'll be up. They got a flash out of Anivia, so that was. Ah, that de definitely worth. Yeah. Banner of Command on Thresh. Ah, yeah. Man. That's what I like to see. Oh, and Tristana, oh, great yeah, rocket. I, I jump, so. agree with that, though. It should have been Locket. They have way more ability power on the opposing side. Well, did he sell his Locket, or...? No, he didn't have a Locket. No, 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 no. Yeah, he should have had the Locket. I think he should have had the Locket, personally. I think they way too much ability power on the for Banner. Simply because... Uh, of how much magic damage the enemy team has, and with clearing that minion is very difficult. You banner of command a minion, a cannon minion. Oh, oh Sivir oh, oh, oh. gonna go tower diving. I think this is a great play. Rumble all perfect two man all by Sizwani. They're gonna fall off perfectly. Take down Tristana. Thresh is trying to do best he can with the box, but it's not gonna do very much. And they power dive that perfectly, and they're gonna take down Thresh too. Oh, wow. And Vladimir, wow. though, pushing in the bot lane. This is gonna That's the game. If he doesn't come back, that's gonna be the game. Uh, something tells us Vladimir's gonna lose to an entire game. He'll be able to stall, but, like, not for very long. Boy, yeah, I don't, that might be game. That's gotta be game. Well, here we go. He's got the alt coming in. They're gonna try to equal. Okay. Yeah, he, there's nothing he could have done there. What was he thinking? Got some good damage off, but that's it. That's the game. Game. Wow. It's game. Snake. That's a huge comeback. Huge honestly. comeback. Then don't oh, 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 oh. But managed to take the lead. Managed to win the game. Wow. Ow. The gold just about evened out there too towards the end. 58.6k to 58.7. Yeah. So. That was an 8,000 gold lead. Oh yeah. That was. uh... That was you so cute getting caught in the dragon pit as Oriana, and the game just switched gears immediately after that. That was yeah. a huge. He, you so cute playing very solidly on that Oriana up until that point, doing a lot of damage, getting really good ultimates off. Just that one and additional play for trying to zone them off by himself I don't against. Know what he was doing? And the Nivia 
and the Braum and the Rumble. Like, you're an Oriana. You're pretty squishy. Your mm. team isn't with you. Don't do stuff. Yeah, we never saw the Vlad ball delivery system. I'm a little disappointed, <laughs> that, but there's, I don't know. What, what are you gonna do, right? Well, I mean, they used the Nocturne. They used the Nocturne uh, and Oriana alt combos pretty well. They did it a couple times. They did it pretty well. Yeah. 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 Uh, old, old, a good game. Um, I think Snake again. Big problem. Uh, closing out the games. I know that they have an idea on how to deal with Jukes or Zenivia, but it seems that they can't close the games against that counter siege wave mm -hmm. clear by Anivia. Yeah. So, I, if I were them, I would consider banning Anivia for the next game because Anivia seems to be causing a lot of problems for Snake Army. Yeah, honestly, yeah. They. It doesn't matter if you can shut down Anivia in lane. As long as she can farm well enough over the course of the game, she is going to get extraordinarily powerful. Her counter siege is amazing. Her siege is amazing. Her damage is ridiculous. It's like she was just too so strong. well too, played. Too strong. So well played on the second half of that game on the side of Rat. Okay, well, Rat up one and it's a best of three this, game, this series. I do believe it is a best of three. So rat up one nothing over snake. That's the first game this tournament oh, second game this tournament rather. Um that Snake has lost. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Rat's oh, looking to make an impact, you know, like they lost earlier. To mm -hmm. Snake. So they're looking mm -hmm. to looking for some revenge. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah, overall, a very, very, very good game, I think, on Rat's part. Uh, really putting the pedal to the metal right at the end there on that tower dive. Very, very good call for whomever called that. Um, they really, really understood how much damage they can put out, and they had the good CC, and they used their alts effectively in that one situation, and their team comp paid dividends right that just that one last little team fight that one on the game. Yeah, that was a very surprising team uh, dive. I did not expect that at <laughs> all. Uh, I expected them to maybe siege down the tower, maybe get in hip and peel for Baron, mm -hmm. but nope. We're just gonna let's just win the game right now, huh? How about yeah. that? Let's just uh, what a ridiculous team fight. That was so well played. So if you're Snake Army now, what do you? What do you do for this next game? Who you ban? What's your strategy? What did you do wrong this game? Snake Army, I think you drop the Nocturne. Um, I think it's too low impact of a champion. Uh, I think you ban the Anivia, for sure. Um... I don't know that I agree with. They have banned a lot of Syndra against Jukester, uh, which I don't know that I agree with. Um, Syndra is much easy to take care of than Anivia. Anivia, regardless of how long or how far behind in lane she falls, if she can get a lane to farm, she will come back. Syndra, much less so. Much more mid-game spiking champion. If she falls behind, if, for example, they decide to take the Jarvan into it, the mid lane Jarvan again, that could that could spell disaster for Jukester. If 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 Jukester decides to pick up the Syndra after a hopeful Nivia ban. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'd they'd be it'd be quite insane to the, for them to leave up Anivia. I can't see them leaving up Anivia and not having an idea of what to do to deal with it, but I haven't seen any real good counters to Anivia. Yes, they had that Jarvan, and the Jarvan did very, very good in one on one the Anivia, but in terms of stopping that counter siege, I mean, the only thing to really counter it with, counter it with is a lot of dive. So mm -hmm. if they leave up that Anivia, I'm expecting to see something like an Olaf, maybe keeping the Nocturne, Olaf, Nocturne, Jarvan, and just have so, so much dive that it doesn't even matter about this counter siege. And they just dive the Anivia right out of under her turret. Yeah, Olaf would be good. Really good against an Anivia. Okay. Game, Game champ select. Let's.
go. They are switching sides. So that is snake on red. Snake on blue, excuse me. And rat on red. Syndra again, first ban against Juicer. I don't like it. They must be really scared of his Syndra if they mm -hmm. don't want him to play it. I mean, he's got. There's a huge KDA number. But there's so many less games played. I just feel like Cinder's so much easier to shut down. Well, it almost looks like they're forcing him onto Anivia. Yeah. Well, like they I mean, want him to play Anivia. I mean, they could always go Jarvan. And that they shut him down. Banned Jarvan. Rat yeah. Army banned yeah, Jarvan. Jarvan. Yeah, they did. I'm quite curious to see what Snake Army's plan is for this Anivia. Again, this counter siege has stopped them time and time again. But he's going to pick up Orianna this time. Unless it's a Oriana top lane Oriana. Uh, that cannot be a top. If that's a top lane Oriana, then I've lost face in everything ever. I've seen it a couple they times. They grabbed Sejuani again. Mm -hmm. The Sejuani, I really, I'm really looking for a stronger play on that Sejuani. Late game, the late game team fights were quite good, using that ultimate to disengage or re-engage, counter-engage, uh, were quite good. But the early game, mid game was, it was, he, it was Sejuani not, was so far not. behind, spent so much time trying to gank, waiting in bushes, but Sejuani doesn't do that. You know, Sejuani has a bit of a knock-up and a bit of a slow, but if you're not six, you're probably not going to kill anybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interested in this Yasuo hover for you so cute. Would love to he, see a Yasuo come out. I'd he love, crushed on Yasuo early. Love me some Yasuo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and there it is. You see the Sivir come back out. Yeah. Leona Sivir, good bottom lane with a Yasuo. Here we go. Going top lane with the teleport, I would assume. And I donut humming over Morgana. Um, I've been rooting for the Morgana pick all day today, uh, especially against Snake Army's team because they seem to love that Leona. So uh, I would really like I donut to lock in Morgana because Jan is banned. Oh, yep, there you go. Morgana into Vayne too. Now, Vayne Morgana really isn't the best lane, but... Morgana is know. very good into Leona, though. Yeah, exactly. Very, very good into Leona. Hovering the Zed and Vi here. I don't like the Zed. That's way too much physical damage, in yep. my opinion. Yep. Uh, I do like the Vi, oh, Lux especially... ADC. Lux ADC, come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Victor, good pickup. I think a Victor's a good solid choice. Yeah, here. Oh, Victor, yeah. good into Victor. Oriana. It's just a ton of damage pretty much Victor's at all stages of the game. Perfect, perfect. And for they, that but they switched to an Annie, which also isn't bad. The flash engages on Annie, the flash stuns. Good for shutting down the low mobility, very squishy, hyper carry targets on mm -hmm. the Oriana and the Vayne. Yep. Now we have top lane coming out for Rant Army. That's Kaskami. Uh, Olaf would be an okay pick right now. Uh, Mayokai would also be very good. Get a good friend lane going with Sejuani. Mayokai, we've seen um, Kaskami on Mayokai today. Wasn't a bad performance. I don't like Olaf into Yasuo because Olaf's biggest strength is chaining those axes. If he can't land the first axe because of the wind wall, and that's, yeah. that's that's problematic because he doesn't get the cooldown either because it breaks the axe, the axe disappears. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Yasuo is actually, in a way, a lane counter. Uh, and are we, we going to see the top lane uh, Okay. And they do go with the Olaf. I don't know that. Yeah, I don't think I agree with that. I think this Olaf is going to have a lot of trouble against this Yasuo. Maybe they don't think the Oswo is going. Maybe they think the Oswo is going mid lane, and they're expecting to be in any top. But no, that they've seen you so cute going top lane with Yasuo playing phenomenally on him too. You don't want to pick an Olaf into a Yasuo that knows what they're doing. I very questionable call. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe uh, Rat's got a plan. Yeah, yeah he but might. I mean, I mean at best you can prevent the. Yasuo ult from hitting Olaf with his ult. Yeah, sure, but just kind of walk right up to him, right? If he tries to to knock you yeah. up, you don't really want to be ulting the Olaf in this match either, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, for like the one you're going for the vein. Yeah, but, yeah, sure. But you're probably going for the vein. 
uh, Rihanna making some TP. I'd be interested to see, looking forward to seeing if they do manage to pull out some uh, TP plays, maybe bottom lane. Mm-hmm. Um, not There's not a lot of synergy with the Oswa. There's only the Vi. Um, no Alistair. I would have liked to see an Alistair maybe over, if they're planning on going with the Oswa all the whole time. Probably would have preferred Alistair than Leona. Uh, a little bit more two-dimensional of a support. I'm glad we're seeing Jukestar and Oriana. We can see what he's made of now on this champion. Mm-hmm. And the ball delivery system with Olaf. Sejuani or Olaf. Sejuani and Olaf, yeah. Just be really, really good if he manages to... If everyone manages to do their part, you know? Mm-hmm. I do think that Rat has a much better team comp. Uh, I just feel like Snake has a bit better lane matchups. Yeah. Uh, the Vayne with a very weak early game. Uh, getting dove by the Leona and the Sivir. It's a lot of damage pretty consistently. The Axe blocking with the Wind Wall from the Oswo onto Olaf. I think the I think the Vayne Morgana matchup into the Leona Sivir is not that bad at all. Uh, the spell shield won't do very much against the Vayne because Vayne is just all auto attack. Uh, Leona's not going to be able to EQ uh, Vayne or Morgana because of the spell shield from Morgana. So honestly, not too bad of a matchup for Rat Army's side. But again, Snake Army does have that damage output, and they do have the tank Leona, right? Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a difference. Yeah, it's a low income tank though. That's a support yeah. tank. That's your yeah. only. I mean, Vi is probably going to build tank. I don't expect to see a Trinity Force uh, on Vi. I don't like Trinity Force on junglers. It's just so much gold uh, for a decent power spike. But then, especially on a melee champion like the Vi, uh, you can get one shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you get one shot, then you're useless because you're not. But you could also thing. one shot somebody else when you get yeah. enough going on Vi. Yeah, that's true. A Vi, a Vi with a relatively early Trinity Force spike with the Warrior Enchant could probably could definitely one-shot the Orianna depending on how well Suzanne is on Vayne. We haven't seen her Vayne, I don't think. We haven't seen the Vayne yet today. I seen him. Um, so depending on how good Suzanne is on Vayne could tilt the matches in one way or another. Yeah, I think both teams got some very considerable good uh, CC chains. You know, uh, on Snake side, you have Leona alt into uh, an Ant, Annie dropping a Timbers into a Vi. There's a lot of pick potential on that side. And correspondingly, on um, Rat's team, they had they had some pretty good lockdown too with the Morgana, with the Sejuani, with the Oriana. Both teams have very, very good AoE CCs on both sides to shut down either one of each other in team fights, and I'm very, very excited to see whose CC lands better than the other. I think it'll be Snake. Oh, Snake is going to pretty firm mm-hmm. grass. That's my, that's my guess. I feel like they're going to run the CC game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they all kind of have a uh... Some half decent CC chaining. Yeah, both teams for sure. Both have decent amount of picks. Um, this is uh, vision's going to be very important in this game. If anyone's caught out of position, it, that will spell the death of them because there's just so much both teams have to lock down one person or several people for that matter. So vision's going to be very very important. The vision control is going to be very important because we've known Snake Army to take early barons. So that's something Red Army's got to be wary about. Okay, everybody pooping onto the rift. Loading their onto items. the rift for game two of the final. Mm-hmm. Between Snake and Rat. Snake on the blue side, Rat on the red side. We got uh, Yes. Oh, starting with Doran's Blade against Olaf. Starting with Doran's Blade. So it's, it's going to be a lot of skirmishing in that lane. That is going to be a heavy damage lane. I feel like the way top lane goes will really dictate how this game goes. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be very swingy. Either of those two champions, when they get going, they can take over an entire game. So I wouldn't be too surprised 
if either of the junglers um, visit top lane more than often. Most lanes are very, very swingy though. Um, but yeah, I think uh, TP plays are going to be very big too with the Yasuo and the Olaf. Uh, mm. If the play breaks out in bot or in mid. I do um, feel like Yasuo has a, or sorry, Olaf has just in general a bigger influence uh, over uh, just on a general TP because he doesn't need anything to make his TP impactful. Whereas Yasuo, sure you can do some damage, but really the most impactful way for him to make his TP play is with a knockup. Yeah. So. There's not many people that can help knock him up too. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, but first, we have a pause coming in. Probably DC or lag. Pause. Yeah. Kazkami seems to have disconnected from the game. He's restarting client from what we're told. Yeah, but yeah, I want to talk say, a little bit about yeah, the Olaf lane at the top. Uh, I, that is a very swingy lane, and you know the wind wall is going to be a problem for the Olaf. And again, if the Olaf gets onto the Yasuo, Yasuo's not bad at battling one v one, especially once he gets that Trinity Force. So <laughs> like. I'm very curious what they were doing with this Olaf pick. Yeah, I don't really see it. They've had success with this similar type of comp, but just the Yasuo in general, not even just against the Olaf, just against the entire team with the Sejuani ultimate, it stops the Orianna ball uh, with the Vayne auto attacks, with the Morgana Q. Mm -hmm. There's so many blockable abilities. Uh, yeah, just just the placement of the wind walls in this game is going to be huge. Yeah. I think also the Tibbers from Annie is going to be very huge too. Uh, if she doesn't land a good ultimate on several different targets, uh, that's going to be a really, really big problem as well, right? Because you have Oriana who's going to be putting up like, constant amounts of uh, spells with her low cooldown. And if Annie doesn't land her combo perfectly, that's going to be a problem for Snake Army. Oh yeah, big time problem. Very I can't wait to see a Morgana get like a five man ult in and just everyone snared up. Yeah. Interested to see how this Yasuo decides to build. Um, recently the Trinity Force has become a very popular Yasuo item. In combo with the Static Shield and the Infinity Edge for 100% crit chance. Uh, with the... I want to see if he maxes Q first or E first. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine. He, yeah. he does a deceptive amount of damage. Uh, magic damage does Yasuo. Because uh, his E is magic damage. With the Q, or with the E max. With that static shield. Just a lot of magic damage. Mm -hmm. So armor isn't that helpful. For the early lining, at least. Another pause going out. We've got some more lag in the mid lane. It looks like Jukester. Jukester wants to pause the game and uh, pick his Anivia. He doesn't feel too confident on the Orianna, so he's going to ask them to restart the entire game. <laughs> Got him on his counter seats, champion. He's not actually. He's not. No, actually. no he's not actually doing that. You're, <laughs> you're epically rusing them. Come on, man. <laughs> But yeah, uh, not only is the wind wall going to be a problem for the Olaf, but the dash, uh, yeah, so it's easy. It's going to be hard to hit him, even if the wind wall is down. Yeah, so. Yasuo is a super mobile champion, very good at fighting in minions. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we keep saying it, top lane is going to be a very indicative of how this game goes. Mm-hmm. And look, as you can see right now, Olaf is really, really running out of mana, and Yasuo hasn't even been touched by an axe oh, yet. Oh, good gank mid, and though. Oh. Just in mid lane, very perfect gank by Vi, flying tank, early aggressive. That's what we were waiting to see from him. Yeah, that's... I think with the Vi. Vi with a really 
Unexpected level two gank before even going for blue buff. It's red and straight mid lane on to so it looks like Shukes there. is having a little bit of problem with her red. Mm. She's gonna have to go back. That's not Shukes good. Oh, well, that's huge setback. Uh, doesn't even. Doesn't look like. Barely, barely has enough money for her jungle enchant. Just her barely. Great. Yeah, but she's not gonna do any early ganking anytime soon, so that frees up you so cute to just keep pushing that lane into Kazkami's face. Yeah, you have a uh, bot lane of Snake Army asking for assistance. They're having a little bit of problem with this Bane Morgana lane. As you see Parami Senpai half health, half mana. I wouldn't be too surprised if Flying Tank comes in for another lane gank because that seems to be what he does best for that bot lane. Yeah, two uh Sivir's respect for horribly senpai keeping even, which is more than we can say for most of these games. Stan has been playing very well. Mm -hmm. uh, again, gets a very slick tumble auto <laughs> condemn combo for the proc. Well, here we go, Crepe. This is the thing you don't want to see in early game from Sivani. Yeah, we don't stop going yet. Thanks to you on Yasso, but Yasso's gonna get out just fine, landing a nice tornado on two members there. And Olaf is actually quite low. Barely even chunked to half HP. They got a gank in the top lane, and their Olaf almost died. Mm -hmm. This is. I. I wish I could just go and tell. <laughs> Wait, don't gank early on Sichuani. Just farm a lot. Oh. She's good at farming quickly. Binding lands in the bot lane. Yeah. Like Only landed on Sivir. For a gank in the mid lane, a repeat gank. They didn't even blow the flash earlier. No, they didn't. They're looking to blow that. They did get cleansed. That was a full down. Yep, the flash is what's important. Mm. Despite the early kill on Tajukster, he's done a good job of keeping even. Yeah, been CS so far. Um. Parami Senpai also doing a good job in staying with CS with this vein for the time being, although he's going to have to back soon. He's trying to get enough of that BF sword, but I don't know if he's going to be able to stay alive for 20 more CS, so I don't know, maybe he's got to have to back and get that pickaxe while Vayne comes back with the Bilgewater Cutlass. Well, sitting on, he only needs about 250 more gold, uh, so another couple ways, and he should have it. Yeah, so Oriana like, having ballerina style up in the top lane. Oriana having to go down the double Doran's rings path after that earlier gank on uh, on Jukes there. Not ideal. It does give you a little bit of a, a little bit more uh, mana sustain at least. Then here we go, flying tank on by. He did this the other game he was on by. Puts a pink ward in the dragon pit, queues over, and he's gonna try to solo this dragon. And I think he's got smite up too. So. Yeah, that's Dragon for uh, Snake Army. Dragon. And Sejuani, again, not able to respond with anything. Can't make a gank happen. Uh, gets Scuttle outside the Baron. That's it. It's traded Scuttle for Dragon. Worth it. Not so much. No. And they actually left top lane and that frees up Yasuo again to shuffle. Oh, boy. Oh, for me, Senpai. Oh. Oh, good stun by Leona, barely yeah. keeping Poro alive. Poro that does have the It was like a second earlier. That would be a dead Sivir. Yeah. If <laughs> Poro <coughs> does have gold for BF, Ken back is going to miss a lot of experience and a lot of CS because of it. Mm -hmm. But it's so dangerous to be standing down here, especially because you know uh, Chromax Jack has been... Going for some early ganks. This is still the advert of the vision of some people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good thing um uh for me sent my back. because uh, there's nothing stopping I donut from flash queuing uh him by the turret, main yeah. condemn, and that's a dead server. So good play. Flash <laughs> my poor me senpai. Does get himself a BS sword. Mm-hmm. He's only behind 10 CS, uh, a little bit more actually, 14 CS. This isn't 
bad by poor me senpai standards. Usually he's a lot, he's down by a lot more by this point. He's not doing too bad, but up in the top lane, you so cute. Up around 20 CS on the Olaf, and that's a flash timbers on, on Orianna. He's gonna cleanse that, but Vi is gonna all in under that turret. Alt by Orianna onto Vi. Vi will flash out and just barely get out. Great gank there by Flying Tank again onto this Orianna. Well played. Orianna does blow her flash ult and cleanse, but does get a flash ult, flash ignite for her troubles. So, unfortunate. Really mm -hmm. been set back in this early game. Has got herself a Chalice of Harmony for a little bit of mana sustain. And he goes back and first by nine minutes buys a full rod of ages. <laughs> Holy. The whole thing. The whole thing. At nine minutes. This is going to be a very scary end. Yep. Uh, this is going to be causing a huge problem for these squishy carries on Rat Army. Yeah, I would not want to be caught in an alley with that Annie. Oh, no. I would not want to be caught in the same country as that Annie. No, no, no. And this again, Yasso, uh, you so cute, doing what he does best on his Yasso, which seems to be a very good champion of his. He's already 20 CS ahead of Olaf, as I was saying before, by completely interrupted me. And, um, so rude. Yeah, very rude. And see, they're doing a nice little one-on-one -on -one over there. Olaf seemed to ha have had a better trade, but I feel like as time will go by, Yasso's gonna get the better of that trade. Olaf uh, did win that trade by a very, very small margin, just because Yasuo missed his Q. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit of an overreach on the dash. Um, Olaf is, however, starting to play around that shield just a little bit before... Oh, here we go! Olaf is going to go land that Axe, and he's going, but Yasuo dash is on the wrong side. Axe is landed again, Olaf is doing a lot of damage, Flash by Yasuo. Nice, oh, oh, oh. but I don't know if he's got enough damage to actually oh, kill him. I don't agree. He's still working, and Olaf will take down Yasuo, but Vi is here for the follow up. Nice, cute connect, followed by the Vault Breaker. He needs one more auto attack, and he does. Great heads up by Flying Tank, but great also one on one by Olaf to take yes, down Yasuo. Really well played by the Olaf. Yasuo bought so much time there for Vi to get the top. His mind was telling him no, but his body told him yes on that Yasuo ultimate. <laughs> oh, had such an opportunity to get out there, managed to flash, he flashed away, got the knockup, and then went back in. That's basically wasting a flash. I think that might be the only time that Yasuo dies this entire game. Here comes Gank onto the mid lane, Vault yeah, Breaker, and Tibbers. The... Lands two man shockwave, but it doesn't actually kill him. That's so much damage. So much damage. Was so much damage. I, oh my goodness. That's a Rod of Ages, before Rod of Ages is even stacked. Yeah. Rod of Ages is currently sitting at two stacks. Getting wow. any, getting Rod of Ages at any point in the game before 20 minutes is considered good. Getting it before 15 minutes is considered great. Getting, getting it before, before 10, 10 minutes. minutes, that's just considered ungodly. Like, yeah. who does that? That's very impressive. This Annie, I was doubting the Annie. I didn't really like the pick. I uh, thought it was a little bit weird, a little bit out of place, but it... It has clearly been working, really shutting down this Orianna, who's 20 CS behind and 0-3. Mm -hmm. He's just playing Anna any better than um, Jukester can play Orianna. A lot of it is flying. Flying Tank has been making some real good uh, ganks in the mid lane too. There, I think there was three ganks. All those three deaths from Jukester are yeah, three has, ganks from Flying been Tank. Yeah. And here we go back in the bot lane here. Uh, Bomi Senpai down 10 CS and down a lot of health too. He doesn't got much sustain, no pods on him, so this is going to be a difficult lane. While Suzanne X has got that Bilgewater Cutlass, he's going to be fine. He doesn't even need to sustain up, he's full health. Okay guys, just a little bit of an update on the status of this series. This is a best of three, with Snake having had a default win for being in the winner's bracket. So uh, this is... The last game. Yes, this is the last game. It is currently 1-1. The winner of this game is the winner of the tournament. Oh, okay. Just some clarification. I know we were a little bit confused on that clarification for you. The winner of this game wins... Hero Ooh, that really nice works out in the favor okay. of uh, nice. flying, or flying, 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 flying tank, but he's gonna go down for it. Um, I would type hashtag worth if 
uh, Rat Army doesn't get this tower here, because I think a death for a dragon is more or less worth, but it is second dragon the most useless of the dragons, but still, nonetheless, that gets you closer to five dragons. So worth. Great point. Third, Great point. Third, third dragon is where I, I really appreciate the dragon buff, because you get that movement speed increase. And that's that's where I'm like, all right, third dragon, life is so much. Better. Oh, here we go, Bane going all in on Sivir, alt in, nice spell shield by Morgana to stop that alt by Leona. And here we go, Bane just putting out that DPS on Leona. Leona has to flash out, and this might be bottom tower for Rat Army. Great, great two v two by Rat Army on Snake Army. And that's yeah. where Bane yeah, even has a work for itself. Mm -hmm. That's Cutlass Dagger Bane. If they start to push this, it'll be bottom tower, but they have to do it now or else they won't get it. Like, Morgana has to start attacking minions. Because mm -hmm. Leona's got, um, boots of mobility now, so she'll get to the tower pretty quick. Yeah, she'll get there. And that's Yusoku so taking down the top lane on his Yasuo, 20 CS up on the Olaf, even though Olaf has a kill on him, so... Good we go fly. Oh, Smash nice. He's taking down. So Rihanna Yasuo's coming by too. All onto onto Eddie. He just barely gets off on those tower shots. And honestly, not worth. Eddie wasn't there for the fall. That was a bit aggressive. That was a bit aggressive on uh, flying tank. Annie had the flash. Didn't even get her tibbers off. Uh, just not in range. A little bit. A little bit overzealous. Good ball yep. delivery uh, system here. A lot of pigs coming down to the mid lane. Uh, 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 Sejuani, they're gonna probably look at Leona here. Oriana putting some nice DPS. We're gonna get a Q in from Sejuani to take down Leona. It looks like that's Leona's death from my Jukester. And Olaf going on any great, great kill. Ghost was pumped too. That is not looking good for a Snake Army there. No, I really didn't see that coming. Really good play for Olaf to come down from the lane after his tower was taken out. But they need to take this tower because Yasuo's gonna take that tower. Oh, Olaf's Olaf is teleporting back to the top, and they could still get. Looks like they're still probably going to get the mid lane tower. Maybe just not. kidding. He's going he guys to teleport from Yasuo. Oh, he's gonna. He's going the bot lane. Lie on the bot lane. Bot lane. Face facing Sivir, and that's going to be a dead Sivir. Yep. You need to pop Wait, that ult way earlier. Yeah. Wait. You pop that ult first instead of popping flash, it not being enough, popping heal and not being enough, and then popping ult. No. Yeah. Um, I don't so think I don't think it was on cooldown, but that's huge. That's that's no you. flash heal. And that's uh, 30 CS. That's 30 CS ahead on the vein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big, definitely big. Yeah, I okay, guess now they should be able to take this turret, but they need to take it now. <laughs> They're only not going to be able to do much. Not at, I don't think there's enough minions to actually take the turret though. Look at that damage coming in from Bane. That's just two auto attacks from a Blade of the Rune King Bang with a uh, Berserker. Just to update on that, uh, Bane solo kill on the Sivir. Sivir's ult was actually on cooldown until the second that it was used. So a little bit of forgiveness there, but still, still not great. No, no. no. And uh, you see Red Army here, seeing Bane is pretty far ahead on the server, getting those solo kills, getting that CS, they're gonna put, they had some nice vision down in the bot lane with the crab, with the pink ward, and that's gonna give a nice little area for Chromax Jack to walk in, maybe catch this Leona off guard, but it doesn't look maybe like Maybe not, Vi's coming in too, making her way down. down Chromax walk Jack walked into that bush, but he was seen, they know he's there, yeah, he's, he's saw him watch in with the minions, so, don't really know what he was... I feel like that was just a waste of time, but you want to teach their own, I suppose. No, it was a waste of time. So one is still behind Vi on items. So. Yasuo in the bot lane. Yasuo did actually max E first, which means there's a lot of magic damage burst coming out from that Yasuo, but there's no armor stacking on Rat, so it doesn't really matter. Yes. So just pushing in uh, cause Tommy here, uh, doing what he does best. I don't think he's got a, he's not far enough ahead to do a Zion, uh, Zion Spartan impression. But, uh, he's definitely far enough ahead to stay in this jungle like this and just kind of maybe even take their jungle push the minions to the turret. And that's gonna, they're gonna, Rat Army's gonna need to send some people up to stop you so cute. 
Mirio says money coming in here. It's probably not a bad word. I'm gonna clear it and get him back away. He's a cute on the ass, whoa. Pushing on the tower, and there's no answer to this. Oriana was gonna go top. Yeah, but here comes cool. Olaf. He, sh mm. he should have just stayed and took it. Probably could have gotten the tower. Yeah, he uh, did. And now he goes back. He probably. Yeah, okay, he'll get the tower anyway. Yeah, and I think. Might he try to go up. for an outplay. Hopefully, just to disengage. Uh, I don't think he's getting out of this. There's one. Oh, comes yeah. Ragnarok is popped. That Ragnarok is perfect. Where's the Sejuani? Oh, there it is. Up there, Vi is locked up, and now Vi is gonna be in trouble. Yasuo is down. Vi is trying to get away. Can she Q over the wall? But Oriana is this to take the kill. Dukes, they're coming in. Hey, I think. Great chance by Dukes. Oh, here we go. Vayne in the bot lane. That's Zibber. Oh, Vayne in the bot lane. Zibber is in trouble. Condemn it lands. And Leona now is next in trouble. Vayne is relentless. Binding won't miss. Vayne won't stop. Heal is popped. Doesn't even get there with the E to Q. Nice kill there by Rat Army, and this isn't looking too good for Snake Army. Good play. No, it's not, dude. Don't Prodigal Zan. Sun is not returning. And that's a free dragon. I looked at it. Four. And that's, yeah. and that's Dragon 1. That's a big, big dragon. It's their first dragon for the game, too. What What is happening here? They're not taking it now? Oh, they're pulling it out. They're pulling it out, yeah. I'm a big fan of pulling out the dragon. I, I'm always, I always like that, especially if you're red side. You never want anyone on the blue side because they don't have vision over the wall. You don't want someone just stealing it with a nice one skill shot. So it's always hard to just pull it out. Like that. But yeah, so the gold is completely even, despite being five kills ahead uh, for Rat Army. The gold is completely even because of the two turrets and the dragon. So and the dragon, yeah. Um, I think you so cute. He's got to be a lot more cautious if he's going to do that top lane split push there, get a little bit more wards going, because even though he did get that tower, it was risky and he ended up dying in the end. Um, so, there's a lot to look for uh, for Snake Army. This Annie was so far ahead of this Oriana, and that advantage is nearly gone. Yeah. Rihanna's down less than two minions. Or sorry, less than ten minions. minions has just as many full uh, kills as just as many assists. Yeah. And they leave Olaf in the top lane for twelve seconds and then hey look, Olaf takes the tower. Mm -hmm. And uh Rat Army is also doing nice defense. They're not letting Snake Army get that mid tower, so Olaf is just gonna keep pushing and Yasso's TP is down. They need to do something and they need to do it now. They seem like they're gonna just send Yasso into the bot lane. But still, that's a tower gone. That's a tower gone, and that's drawing Yasuo away. Which will likely draw Rat closer to the mid lane, hoping to fight. They know Yasuo doesn't have his TP. Yas uh, Olaf on Rat does. Has his ultimate too. Finally got some towers taken out. Yeah. It's gonna be a tower trade here, bot for mid. Good play. Both very, very normal plays on uh, both sides there. Uh, Chromax Jack just farming his Raptors. Um, uh, given that it is the final game and winner of this game does take the entire tournament, I'm not too surprised to see a little bit more passive play from both teams. Yeah. But Baron is up, and I'm I wouldn't be too surprised. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, all about this is money followed up, but yeah, so. Great, great follow up. The DPS is not quite there with the Q line. Flash Q, perfect. Shield by Oriana. Alt in. The oh, no way. And this is what he lives. And he that won't work. Yeah, so Ragnarok is popped. Olaf is chasing everyone. Spell Shield put on the Q lens again. He's relentless. Will another Axon? It does. And he might take out this Yasso. Yasso is down. And now they're looking perfect. Finding out to Annie. Annie might need to pop her Timbers. Timbers is popped out to Olaf, but it doesn't do very much damage. She's exhausted. Flash is popped. Perfect ult there by Leona, and he does get up, but here comes Vayne, tumbling in, putting a lot of DPS onto all those three champions. Perfect, there goes Leona down, and he is low, one more tumble and she's down, and she can probably take on the Sivir too, not quite though, great team fight by Ratter. What is with everybody getting away with like low amounts of HP this that time That was ridiculous, I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to try and kill the tankiest champion in the game. But they did, uh, and they tried, 
<laughs> to be fair, they almost did it. They were very close. They did almost do it, but if you're gonna go on a pick, that's blowing two ultimates. That's blowing most of your team fight. Granted, they are both back up now, so whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's blowing two ults to try and kill a 104 stage one, which isn't a threat. If you're trying to kill the Vayne doing that, absolutely go for it. Even if you're trying to kill the Olaf, because Olaf doesn't really have those resistances, but just like last time we saw uh, Kazkami on Olaf, just getting fed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's also worth noting, Jimster, uh, sorry, Jimster rather, uh, great Orianna shield and great Orianna ult, bringing them into turret range and getting those extra salts on them. Uh, yeah. Had it not been for Jimster's map awareness, this running would have been down. Yes, so seems to be fine. Distortion boots finished on Annie for those extra flash engages. Oh, it looks like they're gonna try to catch them out. Vayne is bottom. Alt in perfectly hit on Sizwani. Spells will happen though. Oh, miss. Oh, long range. Oh, long long range. Vault breaker on some Morgana. But Oriana can do some nice damage, but there goes Morgana down. And that might be Baron? That can't, they can't bear enough of that. Oh, says one, he's really good at stealing uh, objectives, you know, with Smite, especially because she can go through the walls really easily. Oof. So I don't think they're going to go for Baron. No, that's just a pick. They only got yeah, one. That's a dead Baron, Zimmer right there. Man, it's a dead Zimmer down, yes, yeah, so is running, but Bane's yeah, so a bit too. Massive. Flash by yeah, so he's still trying to get away, but Zimmer is on the chase. The storm makes it go faster. Well, she gets to condemn on the wall. Win will happen, and there you go, good damage, but now she turned back around. Now it's just one, he's there, and that's gonna be a dead yeah, so. This game is just getting. This little piggy bad wants more. Worse. His yeah. Bane is so out of hand with the Blade of the Rune King and Phantom Dancer already at 25 minutes. Yep. Compared well, that to... damage on Survive from the oh. Distort, or rather, uh, QE by Oriana. Oh, that's a dead Annie. That's, that's a dead Annie. <laughs> <laughs> she I'm was sorry, matching a board, didn't even know. Yep. Good play by Jukester, though. Yeah. Definitely taking yeah. advantage of the uh, fact that people think they're safe when they're really not. Jukester was Jukester was 0 in this yeah. game, and they just gave up a little bit of pressure in the mid lane. Yeah. He's 4-3-4 four, four now. And now yeah. he's back. Yeah. That's you can't. You gotta commit to. You, you pick one person. You're like this person. Not gonna play League of Legends today. Yes. You make sure they don't play League of Legends today. Don't say, oh, they're not gonna play League of Legends for 10 minutes. Oh, here we and go. And then they can play their friends. Wait here by Snake Army. They see Rat Army going for Baron, and they're gonna just go right. Or, sorry, rather, they went for Dragon, and, and uh, Snake Army's just gonna go for Baron. And they're sitting on a ward. They know they're doing this. And they, I don't yeah, they think are. We're, they, they didn't put the pink far enough in the pit for them to see the. But they're low. Olaf is coming here 1v4. I, uh, they should go on that Olaf. But Oriana's not there, she's now gonna get there. That's unfortunate. Now Rat Army might turn and do Baron. That's a strong possibility. Yeah, that was a that was a weak call from Snake. A dangerous call. Let's take a look at the mid laner for a second. Oriana built Rabbit's Death Cap and Athene's Unholy Grail. Oh, getting on to Sejuani there, dodging the Q from Morgana. Getting some good damage onto Sejuani, ult from Leo to hit. Ooh, good ult by Sejuani. Sejuani still gets away. Oh, here we go, Yasuo's jumping onto Vayne. Vayne's got great kiting potential though. I don't think he's actually gonna kill her, and that's a good win by Snake Army there. They have not learned their lesson. Rather, uh, Rat Army. Sorry. Yeah, not yet. Uh, let's go back to the mid laners for a second now. Oriana's got Athene's Unholy Grail, because she was really scared of Annie in, in the early game. And she should be, because Annie's ridiculous. Then went right into Rabidans for the ability power increase. And he went from being 0 and 3 to now 5 and 3. Yeah. Since the lane. That's that's insane. Yeah. Oh, flash tip onto Big Bird. That's a bit aggressive miscommunication there by Snake Army. And they're gonna take down Annie. And they're not even going to get Morgana for the troubles. The communication on this team is seriously lacking. Mm -hmm. You're so cute, a little overestimating his uh, Yasuo ability, because he's 0 and 4 right now. 
Yeah, and they're gonna turn and try to do Baron. That's Sivir backing. Oh, never mind. They're gonna try to contest Baron, because that's the best that they can do, but I don't know if they can get Baron there. Baron goes down way too fast. That's a blade of a Ruin King Bane. Yeah, and that's Baron. And Bane's awesome. now got Phantom Dancer, too, so he, Bane's gonna be able to run through walls. And, or, sorry, uh, minions. Walls, whoa! <laughs> not walls, sorry, not walls, not walls. Run through minions. Bane's so far ahead that she feels comfortable spending 1200 gold on items that don't do damage. Yeah! It's so strong that she's just gonna be a, a, a Banshee's Veil. Well, look at the difference between Bane and Sivir. Sivir is now completing, uh,. Bloodthirster, or rather, hasn't even completed the Bloodthirster, her second item. Vayne's on and finished her third item and trying to finish her fourth. Yeah, there's just huge power discrepancies all across the board. This Olaf is huge. Um, Paskami played very, very well. Uh, yeah. A couple of misplays from the Yasuo uh, really, really set the, set, the, set the scene for the outcome of the top lane. Yeah. Um, the huge advantages that the Vi had gotten her laners in the early game are gone. Mm -hmm. But Vi's advantage for herself is gone. This is just this Leona, the engage you can't engage in this game because if you go in, they're gonna completely melt you. Yeah. This is not looking good. And this isn't looking good for Snake Army at all. They've been looking so good this entire tournament. Must have been running out of gas. Yeah. They still have a chance here because they have their inhibitor turrets. Yeah, well, it's so still the twins game. They can turret. Yeah, but the best they can do is uh, turtle here because they got uh, Rad Army's got Baron Dub minions. They're knocking on the uh, uh, top turrets of the inhibitor. And I wouldn't be too surprised to see a tower dive here. They do have Olaf, they do have Sizwani. Tower diving is not out of the question. Well, much like. Certainly not, especially winning since play they have. The last game. Yeah. Well, they have the ball delivery system, right? So, that's like singing their song for tower diving. If they can get a good Sejuani ultimate, followed by the <coughs> Oriana ball and the Sejuani EQ, that's... I mean, there is, there are four buttons that need to be pressed. Oh, right well, they caught out Leona. Leona will flash. Good flash. Good preemptive flash to get out. But now they're just going to try to take down this mid-tower, and Vayne's going to just now come. But yes, all that's good damage. Three metal! Three metal oh, to the Vi Quest. Vi gets the power dive. Vi can't do very much. Yes, so is trying to ult him, but that's not going to do very much. Ragnarok pop. They're now jumping on this on Sivir. Sivir's going to heal, not be able to get away. Now it's just left Leona, but she's got nowhere to go. And that is an ace. And that is most likely game for Radar. That is a triple kill for the Olaf. That is a ridiculous play from the Vayne, a ridiculous ultimate, and that's the game. That's going to be the game. The winners. Of the solo queue August tournament. Rat That takes down Snake. Yeah. Yeah. What an upset. Two to one. In the finals. Take the tournament. Well played.